get started. Um, hey there. Welcome to a, well, this is not a GA Tuesday, but this is a GA event for the Pilot Club. Today we are flying Sun and Fun uh, that's happening in Lakeland, Florida. Appreciate you guys being here. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. Well, actually, let me go ahead and uh, you guys validate if you can see my screen. Yep. All right, sounds good. Let me open up the right stuff. <laughs> All right, so um, this is a TPC event, so let's go over some of the admin stuff and then we'll talk about the flight itself. Uh, when you get to the Pilot Club's website, you can click on the Flight Crew button that will take you to the portal, Flight Crew portal. There's a lot of cool things, a lot of plans that we have for that particular website or for that portion of the site. Uh, it does integrate with uh, Discord, so check it out. Uh, there's a profile that you can create and a public profile that you can do. And um, there's, a, there's some automation and some other things that we have planned. For. So check it out when you get a chance. Let us know if you have any feedback. We have the blog. There's lots of things that's going on here with the club. Uh, lots of different flights. We have events, um, the giveaways, and, and other things like that. So check it out when you get a chance. Pilot set flight today <clears throat> will get 500 TPC points. Those that use their call sign while on that sim will get 1,000 TPC points. Uh, we do ask that while you are on the Discord server uh, to try and keep the conversation relevant to the flight. Very difficult to do, but we're always trying. Uh, try not to miss your ATC calls. Um, if you go on Unicom or CTAF, uh, do your best to be verbose. Talk about your altitude, where you are, what your intentions are, so that other pilots that are listening should have some idea as to what's going on, even if they can't see you. Uh, we do ask that you are also onboarded so that you will be eligible for points. If you don't know what it is to be onboarded, let me know and I will talk to you about it. All right, do we have any questions about admin stuff? <coughs> All right, so let's uh, go ahead and check out the flight, the event for today. Uh, we do have a flight plan. Uh, this flight plan comes, well, most of it comes from the official source. Um, so there is a scenery, uh, there is a Fantasy of Flight FA-08. Actually, I forgot to actually install that. Um, so there's no route because this is a fly-in. Um, you are expected or we encourage you guys to be at the airport, the intended airport, somewhere between, oh, well, that's not right. This is a different time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is, um, we're starting at, uh, it's a four hours ahead. So we're starting at, uh, we're starting at zero. Wait, what is the Zulu time right now? It's 1800 EDT. And that's four hours, uh, which gives me 22. So 2200. Okay. So 2200. Uh, so we're expecting 23, 23 to about, uh, zero. Zero, zero. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> now, this particular event, there is an official notum. Uh, they do have a PDF and a uh, web version. So, basically, trying to break this down as best we could. Uh, so, we do have some frequencies. These are just references. These can change at any point uh, during the event. So, just make sure that you are listening to the, uh, the ATC. Um, in that sim, uh, listen to ATIS, or hopefully we can talk to one another and also um, update each other on what the frequencies might be. But they basically, these are the intended frequencies for the event. Um, we do have a VFR uh, arrival. Uh, let me see if I can get a better. Yeah, here's here's a much bigger picture. So um, for light, ultra light helicopters, jets, warbirds. They're expecting you to take the Lake Parker arrival. Um, Lake Parker is over here um, at the, the at the power plant. I'm not sure if the, I haven't checked to see if the power plant actually is rendered in the sim. Um, I, I got word that it might not have been. Um, but for some of us, Fantasy of Flight is basically our uh, start of the procedure. Uh, we head to racetrack and we continue to follow this route. Um, I'm not not sure if the golf course or the or the cake is there as well. That's actually I just worked on a scenery for this. I'm wondering if I can probably try and put something in there. We'll see. 
All right, but we basically have this route. ATC will do their best to um, to guide you in. Um, slower movers, so airplanes that can maintain a hundred knots um, uh, should be at twelve hundred uh, MSL. Those that uh, can maintain one hundred and fifty knots should be at seventeen hundred MSL. So keep that in mind as you are entering. <clears throat> uh, once you have entered. It's possible that it's possible that there could be a hold, uh, d d depending on how much traffic there is. Let's take a look at that map. Uh, here we go. So at the Lake Parker, um, so there's a racetrack. So it could basically you could come into the northeast shore of Lake Parker and do a hold around the lake, and then if you need to get out, you can come back out, uh, going northeast, come back in and do stuff. Hmm. All right. Uh, we do have the regular traffic pattern once we do get into the airport. Let me see if I can find it. There's a couple of... Is, is, is anyone flying a warbird or a helicopter? All right. So then it looks like most of us will be taking normal traffic pattern uh, coming in from the north and we'll be landing on either the green or the red. So... They do have 10, um, they have ma they have converted the taxiway to uh, 10 left and 28 and 28 right. And they do have their regular uh, um, uh, runway that's there. Uh, if you've downloaded the, the Sun and Fun uh, scenery, um, I have labeled 10 left and 10 right and 28 left and right, just to make things a little easier. But the green and orange dots are there as well. So uh, during your traffic pattern, try not to actually do not uh, fly into any of the shaded areas. So if you need to make, it looks like we are not really doing like a full, like a full pattern, but when you come in, you're either doing a left downwind or a right downwind, right onto, right onto the runway there. So hopefully you should need to pass any of that. Uh, let me just so that we have chopper town anyone who is um, Anyone who's flying a chopper there is a section for you to land uh, This uh, paradise city is down down south paradise city is where all of the uh, Stall airplanes will be there is a, uh, a grass strip for that And I think that's about it. So when it comes to air spaces uh, we do have the Tampa class Bravo, Orlando Bravo, and we have a couple of Deltas that are there. Uh, nothing, nothing real serious about this uh, this, this MOA, um, which I'm not sure if it'll be in if uh, ATC will be uh, enforcing it anyway. But uh, it is there. Uh, let me see. Here. So the class, so the class, the class. Let me see. Here. Sorry, you're kind of rambling. I believe I believe this is our spot here. So basically, we have this class. Uh, this is the Tampa. I saw it before. That's Tampa. Thank you. This is the Tampa Tampa class Bravo that's here. So for the most part, um, because we're coming in from, actually, you won't be hitting the class. You won't be hitting the class Bravo at all. But just in case, ATC will will guide you. Will will give you the authority to break it if you if you need to but for the most part we we should be just fine um and i think the same thing with these with the Orlando bravo as well uh and i think that's about it um do you guys have any questions about the flight <clears throat> i have a general question about the equipment required for uh uh, uh filing the plan for the in the pilot okay what's your what's your question about it what is the equipment basically for uh regular uh that's now 172 um so you, you're not doing any uh instrument approaches so as long as you have a, a, a communication um devices where you can talk to a, uh to mm -hmm. a atc you, sh you should be fine most likely your approach is going to be visual so um it's it's the bare minimum Great, thank you. No problem. All right. A any other questions? 
Yeah, what plane you fly? <laughs> I think it's the Bonanza A36, but I still need to figure that out. <laughs> All right. All right, gang, we'll have fun and I uh, will listen out for you on the comms. Thank oh. you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. What's Not a problem, problem, guys. Have a good time. Ooh, there's Ren ATC. And what's up, buddy? All right. Okay. So. Looks like we got all of uh, Lakeland. Uh, so the ground tower is up and running. Very exciting. I love it. All right. Let me do some quick. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, it's a boy, Tabletop Android. How are you doing today? Um, so usually I start my streams an hour before the briefing, but I did it at the same time because I'm a chicken. I'm like a chicken with my head cut off today. So I was working on, I don't know what, why I got the great idea about working on a scenery for this, which is, I mean, I think it was a pretty stupid idea. Um, let me show you. Oh, actually, you can't see that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on here. Andrew, thank you very much for moderating and for getting me set up uh what's up is that gucci is that gucci mink <laughs> with three c's <laughs> how you doing gucci nice to see you buddy <laughs> um yeah so let me see if i can find it so i went ahead and thought it was a wonderful idea to go ahead and make a make a make a scenery add-on for this and i don't know why i keep doing this to myself So I, I spent the entire week trying to uh, make something. Um, I got I got something going. I just finished like an hour before, so I took a break and ate something and blah 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 blah. So the good thing is that it looks like uh, people are interested because um, I posted it yesterday and it's got like 193 downloads. So that lets me know that there is that there is some interest. So I'm, I'm hoping that people that are flying today's event from uh, Miami Arctic will hopefully be using this and that'll be great because then i really want to see what the fps uh hit is going to be unfortunately i had to use six is that six or five six i had to use six add-ons in order for it to work so i i didn't like this i was trying to consolidate it as much as i could but you know two weeks zero. all right uh let me log in no let me not log. uh yeah let me log into <laughs> actually no, let me not log in because I don't know where we're flying it. I had the idea that I wanted to fly from down here, but I don't think um, because we're in Florida, uh, my biggest dream is to one day, where is it? Here it is, is to one day fly in or fly out of North Perry Airport. This is the home airport. This was, this is basically Broward County. This is where I grew up. And uh, one of these days I'm going to fly in or out of there. So I thought it would be cool to fly from there, but that's that, that that's gonna take too long. So I think I might I think I might come from the north. Let's go from uh, Leesburg International. L E. -E. Uh, I always watch your VODs, but finally been able to catch you live. All right. Hey, man. I'm glad you're able to catch me live as well. <laughs> um, are, are you in a different time zone as to why you are unable to catch me live on Tuesday? I'm in the Eastern Standard, uh, which is, uh, I guess, plus four on, on the GMT. I'm glad you're here. I hope you have fun. <laughs> All right, um, so the flight plan, right? So let me go, let me open up Navigraph. If Europe, you want to gotcha. Healthy, this is a startup. <sighs> Drink, Drink more, more water. water. Oh my goodness. So I have my can of water upstairs. So then the next time that I take a break, <laughs> I will, I'll grab it up. Really, is, is that how you feel, Andrew? All right. Um, I apologize for not having my water. I will try and get that. And so I'll try and get my life together. Okay. All right. So we're going to go from K-L-E-E -E to K-L-A-L. -L. I should be very familiar with L-A-L. -L. I've been typing. I've been typing that in all week. Uh, how many? So that's 50 nautical miles. That is not far enough. We need something that's a little further. 
That is like super small. All right, so let's try uh, OFC. As long as it's like at least a hundred nautical miles. <gasps> uh oh, OFC's not there. Oh, oh, that's because I spelled it wrong. It's O C F. Oscar Charlie Fox. There we go. I was trying to get rid of this that with this direct. All right, seventy-two nautical miles. All right, you know we're not going to bother with that. <laughs> we're we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing going. All right, so we want to we want to do this flight from I have no idea uh, from Ocala International Jim Taylor Field Airport all the way down to here. Now, I talked about the actual approach. Here's the oh wait no no so let's actually can I do that? What I wanted to do sorry I'm a little I'm a little flabbergasted right now. All right, so let's go ahead and at least connect here. So this is a BE 36. We're going to go with the Beechcraft command failed. Please ensure that a flight is loaded. Mm, that's cute. Oh, I'm not, con I'm not connected. <laughs> this is, this is almost like the first time that I've flown. Whoops. All right. Uh, how about this mark for channel points? 10,000 channel points for 200. <laughs> All right, um, I won't be able to make that decision right now. I've already got a lot on my brain, but noted. Send me a message in, in Discord and I will consider it. All right, so I can't connect because I need to log into the actual airport. So let's do that. Oh, have you guys been getting this thing too where it like opens up in Windows, in windowed mode? Uh, word on the street is that S SU-15 is supposed to have a fix for that. All right, so I'm hoping things are okay because while I was developing, I had to start and stop this app a couple times and it looks like my pro default profile got messed up. We will see, we'll see. All right, so let's look, for, let's look for the A36. There we go, the Bonanza. We're not, we're not taping, we're not taking tip, we're gonna, do you guys want tip tanks or not? I'm not taking the turbo because we're not going that high. Um, I have an affinity for, for, for this. Also, face cam, go bye-bye. Oh, you're right. Look at that. Thank you. Um, let me fix that. <laughs> face cam, go bye-bye. It's real cute. There we go. So my alerts and overlays. So I have been recording, uh, after the stream and I think that I have to do a lot more prepping now. So Volanta, Arkansas, Flylife. Let me just make sure that all of my sources are, OBS sources are visible. Video, tablet, alerts, yeah. Okay, so I think the regular stuff is there. Let me see if some of the other stuff. Uh, full screen width. We have those things. All right, then we have the desktop. We should have everything in there. We have our activities. Hello. It's our activities. All right. I think we're good. Thank you. Appreciate that. No tip tanks. Copy that. All right. Now let's make sure. Yeah. Look at this. All of these are gone. Um, let's jump over to Volanta and figure out what is the registration number that I have. Let me see if I can show you guys. There we go. All right, so we're doing a 36. So we have a BE 36, which is 5'9 Tango, and then we have a couple others, yeah. So 5'9, 6 Yankee, 5'9 Tango. 6 Yankee, 5'9 Tango. Let's see if it'll call sign. We are representing T, uh, the pilot club today. So uh, Gucci, do you do any flying? Are you a real, are you a real pilot? Are you GA uh, in enabled? Uh, flight number is I don't know, Sun and Fun. Yeah, let's yeah, let's go GA. What's today's date? Here four zero seven. There we go. All right, we're not heavy. We're gonna show the we're gonna show the tail number. You'll consider it. I'll cons Andrew. I'll consider it. 
<laughs> Don't forget to put Jamaican call sign in the remarks <laughs> for Vatsim. <laughs> um, actually, I don't think I need to do that anymore because I made I, not that I made such a big stink about it, but that I um, it looks like at some point somebody somebody made mention that they should be aware that there are other call signs that there are other tail numbers out there because I was I was constantly using it. All right, I like the orange. Let's go with the orange and. Uh, where did we go? This was uh, Oscar Charlie Foxtrot. Kala International. Not in real life, unfortunately. I got you, buddy. Same here, man. I have. I'm a lifelong gamer, and I definitely have. Um, I definitely have gotten into aviation because of this game. <laughs> Usually fly the Victor, the Victor 35. I love it. Or the Piper. Those are my two favorite planes. What a quinky dinky. I love the V-Tails. Um, and so there's the, the V-35 Bravo, which is from Carinado. And then there's the V-35 Hotel, which is from, I think it's Br Brim, Brim, Brim Systems or something. I don't know, but their plane is, their plane is, uh, all the buttons are functional. Not to say that they actually do anything, but they are functional. Um, and that uh, it does have a really cool tip tip tank thing on there. All right, so this is whoop, let's get this settled. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the head tracker. Uh, you got the I got it. Yeah, the can can the one's pretty dope. Oh, look at this. No. New follower. No, uh, the Maverick Mike. Hey, are you the are you the person I've been chatting with about the um, about the scenery, Maverick? I appreciate you coming out here. So unfortunately, we're not going to see our six Yankee five five nine our six Yankee five nine tango. Is that what I'm going to <laughs> I already forgot <laughs> what the what the call sign is. Uh, Volante, yeah, six Yankee five nine tango. So well, unfortunately, our Something went completely wrong there, which is fine. Um, all right. So one thing I do need to do is spad mix. So I'm going to show you guys because weird things have been happening. I got the G36. This is the A36. Uh, they should be. They should. They should work the same. All right. So let's go ahead and sign this aircraft. Let's do all of this. Tick tank one as well, even with the turbo version. All right, so we got all of that covered. So our Bonanza, our Beechcraft Bonanza one should be fine. Uh, you couldn't look more like a drug attack <laughs> because I've got the uh, the uh, the uh, the um, tail the tail sign that's uh, not there, and this is not me. Yeah, so even even all of this got got changed. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I'll have to spend some time. All right, let me see if my, as long as these work, which, I knew it. So this middle one, I knew it. This one doesn't work. Uh, it was, it, it, it had like a weird, it had like a weird thing with it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. So it's the propeller, it's the propeller pitch, but it's not, yeah, there was something different about it, I remember. All right, whatever. We'll uh, roll with it. All right, so let's uh, let's make sure that we're gonna turn on the we're gonna turn on the master battery because I want to take a look at oh oh my custom views are not there as well. Okay, all right, we are we are we are doing it live, guys. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on. I would like to see what kind of stuff. I wonder if this reset as well. Did everything change? Oh, the engine conditions at 100. That did change. Used to be like it was, it was, it was getting low. All right. No worries. Yeah, this, this reset too. Okay, so it seems like uh, something happened. I 
I had to close out the application a couple times and it must have corrupted my configuration. All right, so let's set this, let's set this to what we really want it to be. Let me see here, we've got, that's too high. And 256, uh, I think that was good, but I think I want this one. So we're gonna do 512. Do we have any active failures already? Okay, no. so, all right, global failure rate is set to 512. Let's hope we even get into the into the air, guys. <laughs> um, it's set to random. All right, cool. All right, so now because of that, we're gonna have to really pay attention to these gauges. And that's what I'm hoping that we are gonna get to do. Oh, you know what? Also, for some reason, my, what is that thing called? Um, what is this called? Uh, flow. Flow's, flow's not there anymore. And I have, I've got all this stuff on here. I don't even know how to hide these things. Yeah, so over here, I'm hoping... Uh, this looks like... Yeah, I don't even know how to do that. So how would we, I don't know, whatever. We've, we've got, uh, actually, you know what I do need to turn off? I need to turn off the voice because I've been, I've been messing around with the sound for ATIS for air traffic control text to speech. So we'll turn that off. All right, are you connected? Not yet. No, oh, right, sorry, thank you. I was, I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about getting connected. Now that I'm loaded in, let's go ahead and get connected. PC, blah blah blah. All right, we're good. Thank you. Is that the Lathia? How do I say your name? Lathia Clayton. Oh, <laughs> it's just Clayton. I, I I put the S because it's not the S. What's up, Clayton? How are you doing, man? <laughs> Okay, so I'm connected to uh, VATSIM. So we've got Jackson uh, up, uh, Jackson Center. Let me see if these guys in the chat need any help. No one, no, everyone seems to be okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at, let's take a look at Volanta. Let's take a look at Volanta and let's take a look at all the sweet coverage that we have going on today. <laughs> Lethal <laughs> with a Y, Lethy, Lethal, Lethally, no, or just Lethy. <laughs> Got a quick question for one of you guys. What's up, bud? If I'm at Sarasota, who like uh, talk to? Am I weird at Jacksonville? If you're at where? Sarasota. What? What's the call? Uh, what's the identifier? KOCF. K-O-C-F? Yep. Oh, that... It, is that where I am? K-O-C-F. That's where I am. I'm at Ocala. Hm. Yes, you would go over to Jacksonville Center. You said center? A Got it. All right, so... Very cool. Um, so here we are at Ocala. Uh, our other guy is there as well. Pretty neat. Um, so we do have coverage from... Do this from Jackson from Jackson Center, so we'll be calling with them, and then once we get into this uh, into Tampa's approach, uh, they'll be handling us. So here's Lakeland over here. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out. Now that we at least got that, let's go ahead and figure out what the plan is. Uh, okay, so really, it's the approach that is going to determine, I think, part part of the plan. So they want us to come in at, um, here's the Lake Parker VFR arrival procedure. So VPMNO is probably, probably where we'll start. So I'm going to type in VPMNO and let's see where that gives us. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I got really sleepy there. Um, where is... Navigraph, there we go. Let's see if I can do a direct to uh, VPMNO. 
MNO? Nope, I already forgot. Uh, Mike November Oscar. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we'll be taking a 56 nautical mile flight straight down to VPMNO. And this one does not give me any of the lakes. So unless the lakes have changed, which I don't think it has. So I think uh, these lakes seem to be where they are. So I think um, for us, VPMNO is basically our starting point. Uh, and then the VP Foxtrot Sierra Yankee. Uh, Foxtrot Sierra Yankee. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, so here's the links. So basically, because we're coming in from the from the north, we'll take VPMNO, and then we'll jump down over here. Oh, there's an airport over there. Okay, so we'll take the airport. We'll take it down to the racetrack, which you know what? I don't think this is gonna. I don't think. Well, actually, let's try it. Hold on. <laughs> so here's our section of. All right. So this is a uh, visual. Uh, this is a visual waypoint. This is a visual waypoint. This flag here. So I believe this racetrack over here is another visual waypoint. Okay, so we do have Highway 4, and then we have some, we have a bunch of lakes around us. We do have one road that's down here, and then we do have this one. It seems like they, they, they didn't merge it well. But we do have the racetrack that's there. Alright, so they're saying take the racetrack, then they're saying take it to Lake Parker. So here's Lake Parker. So far, so easy. And uh, then, okay, all right, cool. So here we have Highway 570, and then we have Interstate 4. So basically, Interstate 4 will be on our right-hand side. So we just need to make sure that we are following that. Yeah, so I think as long as we follow Interstate 4, yeah, when we follow Interstate 4, we should be fine. Uh, let me see here, at what point There's no, I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's any white, I don't know if there's a white ball in the sim, but it looks like we'll be making just a direct north. Uh, we'll be headed directly south. So I'm gonna guess that we'll be doing something like this, so like right after Lakeland. So here goes the city of Lakeland. So right after Lakeland is when we'll be just headed he headed south. All right, doesn't doesn't look too bad. Uh, if we do need to do a hold, we do a hold at Lake Parker. Uh, so where's Lake Parker? So here's Lake Parker. So we come in here, and then if we need to do a hold, then we do a a, tra a, a left a left hold here, and then we try and get back on onto task. Okay. All right. Cool. So visually, we're gonna keep um, this is this is my right hand side. So we're gonna keep Interstate Four on our right hand side and hopefully not lose it. Uh, we will be in a, this looks like a big enough city, so we should definitely have some visuals there. And then we do have the lake. All right, cool. Not, not bad, not bad. All right. Um, I will, I'll input this into my, into my flight plan on, on the plane. Will I? No. Yeah. I'm always, I'm, I'm always, I'm always trying to figure this out. Okay, let's see here. How do I change my radio in this plane? I like the, I, I like the 750 only because of the information. So let's see what happens if I go, can I go full? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's go. Let's go full alpha. Let's go. Let's go slant alpha on this bad boy. Uh, so we don't have any visuals. We don't have any coordinate coordinates. So let me see here. 
Um, we're gonna be we're gonna need to take advantage of any VORs that are in that are in play. So from here, we have this Highway 75 that we could use. Uh, and actually, when I drive down to Florida, Highway 75 and the Turnpike is, is, is usually what I use. So that's actually pretty cool. All right, I am looking for a VOR though, so I will need the the, the Lakeland VOR, and that'll help me keep track. So this so this part's going to be a little difficult once I get down here. It's going to be hard to see. All right, well, let's uh, start her up. So we. Uh, we can at least uh, once one seven zero. We'll just we'll just start off with that. We'll take off and then we'll, we'll head one seven zero. Got to eat, Andrew. Thank you very much, sir, for for the time that you spent with us. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. All right, so we're going slant alpha. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make we're gonna make a real adventure out of this, and we have our failure rates set pretty high. <laughs> So let's 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 see what happens. All right, uh, so let's go ahead with the checklist. We're gonna definitely need a checklist on this one. So before it starts, complete the in the inspection. To read the message above. Gotta eat. Uh, will you be joining? Oh, we'll be joining you on my phone. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, all right. So pre-flight inspection is completed. Seats are secure. Cabin door is latched and locked. Uh, is this one that we can open? No. This is... I can, I can never remember which plane I can and can't open things. <laughs> Alright. Parking brake is set. Uh, let me see here. Parking brake is right here. Let me see if it's working on my hardware. Oh, it is. And I noticed that... Um, so, yeah. I definitely... So, something's really screwed. Because whenever I hit parking... Nope. Actually, nope. I'm fine. Okay, forget about it. Forget about it. Okay, emergency stowed. Uh, avionics breakers are in. All right, I don't have custom. I don't have custom things, uh, custom views right now. Let's see if I can find it. Let's uh, take a. Actually, I can just do this. All right. So all the if it was out, it would look like this. Okay. So they all they all look like they're in. So that's good for right now. The breakers are in. Flaps are up. Yes. Flaps are up. Oxygen uh, is in the green. We're not going to be using oxygen. Avionics are off. Uh, yeah, I believe all the... Let me see here. Everything... Yeah, everything is off. It should be good. Everything is... Every, everything is everything. Alright, throttle is closed. So let's take a look at this throttle. This is the throttle here. I would like to get that RPM. Uh, okay, sorry. Let me do a quick... <laughs> Let me just try a quick thing here, just to see if I can get it. Um, so this is the condition. This one. So this is the one that's not working. The propeller change. Uh, so let me see here. We have. I mean, we only have the. We really only have the propeller engine one. Okay, so let's go with the minimum, which is this one. Maybe, maybe it was this that was off. Let's see. Okay, good. It was just my values. My values are off. <laughs> Sweet. All right, we're back in action. That wasn't too hard. Uh, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna switch up my my hardware. I've got the knobs in the wrong place because I was flying the command piece. Yep. Okay, so now my hardware matches uh, the software. All right, let's go ahead and start recording this flight because I will forget. So I've got Flight Recorder, which does have an update. So I need to, I feel like I need to download that at some point. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what we should do? Let's go ahead and file our flight plan. I think it's my this one here. So we all have to do it through the website. 
Uh, they already have me logged in. Great. File, uh, file that flight plan. All right. So let's see what's going on here. So we are doing CTAF. I'm aware of that. Uh, nonprofit. Okay, blah, 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 blah. So the call sign is Pilot Club 44. We're doing VFR BE 36. E36. Uh, we are always light equipment. We're going with Alpha. Transponder is, I believe, L is by default. Skip if FAA could. I'll, I'll, I'll skip it. So the departures. Uh, Oscars. Uh, I was going to say uh, Charlie Foxtrot. Okay. Block off time. So currently the time is 1842 my time. So plus four. 18 plus four is 22. Yeah, so 22, so let's go with 20, let's see if I can get it in the air in about 15 minutes. But that doesn't sound right. Let's do it in about, <laughs> in about 30 minutes. All right, altitude, what is our altitude, guys? Um, I keep coming back to this. You know, it's funny, as much as I try and use Navigraph, um, I only really only need it for charts. It is so easy, it just seems so much easier to do it here. All right, and then here we have Fantasy of Flight. Uh, yes. Where's our other visual? And then here is uh, the lake. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, what is the uh, less than a thousand thirteen hundred? Okay, we are going west east. We're going east, so it's going to be odd. So we could go with, we could go three thousand five hundred. So let's do let's do three thousand five hundred. One thirty eight uh, zero three five. Okay, so three thousand five hundred. So 3500 airspeed. I think it's like 138. I think it goes faster than that though. LAL uh, alternate, which is something that I don't do very often. I use Chart Fox, which is basically a free navigraph, not more limited though. <laughs> uh, a lot more limited though. Yeah, yeah. I before I got navigraph, before I bit the bullet to go pay for that subscription, um, I was definitely on Chart Fox as well. Very, 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 very helpful tool. Um, I'm looking for alternatives. Okay, so in case things go wrong, which we're expecting things to go wrong with this plane, what is our alternative? I don't want, I mean, I could go to Plant City, something closer because I'm expecting stuff to really go wrong. There goes Jack Browns, which is Foxtrot 57. Um, Bar, uh, Bartow Executive, which is a little further. All right, for right now, mm, for right now, let's just go with this one. I don't even know. This is Winter Haven. Where is it on the thing? Jack Browns, Jack Browns. Here it is. A, A, A got cut off. Okay, so let's take a look at the Miami section. There we go. Here's the Miami section. Oh, which, which, which one is this? This is Jacksonville. Okay. So the Miami sectional has Winter Haven Regional. So let's do that one. K G I F. G I F and route. Uh, we're expecting. We'll just say sixty minutes. Nope, that's not right. There we go. <laughs> uh, how much do we have? We have about uh, three hours of fuel. I guess I don't know. Thirty hours. That's not right. There we go. Three hours of fuel and the route details. Um, <laughs> where, where did it go? All right, we'll just we'll just look at this. Uh, the only thing that they really need to know is that we plan to hit up this fantasy of flight. So, Foxtrot Sierra Yankee. VP Foxtrot Sierra Yankee. 
and then we're gonna hit um, the lake. The lake is uh, Kilo Echo Romeo. Kilo Echo Romeo. Okay, cool. That should be fine. These we don't need to worry about. Uh, we are representing the pilot club operated by the pilot club.org. All right, and we are filed. Yes. This is not as satisfying as doing it in uh, in V Pilot. V Pilot it was it was pretty it was it was pretty nice. I felt really I don't know I felt really accomplished doing it there. This one there's a lot more, but I don't know. Just it just doesn't have the same feeling. All right, but we are filed. So what that means is that if we go to Vat Spy, we should be able to see ourselves, and other people should be able to see us as well. All right, so here's actually, let me take a quick screenshot. Let me take a quick screenshot of people that are out and about. Uh, in VPilot was really easy and efficient. I agree. I think it was easy and efficient too. So we do have ATIS in this in this area in at our airport, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to take a picture. So Michael Burke and Carter James, those are the guys that are supporting us right now. Carter James is giving us ATIS, and Michael Burke will be our center controller. And then once we get into, uh, let me see here. There, oh, look at all these, look at all these planes that are coming in. Nice. All right, so there's the details. Look at all, so there's 40, there's 40 pilots right now. All right, so I don't know who these two guys are, but for ground, we do have Archie. So shout out to Archie. <laughs> okay. Ooh, so for the pilot club, let me see where everyone else is coming in from. So we've got a couple. Uh, Judd right now is uh, is he is he flying? No, his altitude is seven feet. So he is. I don't know where he's come. Oh, I don't know where he's coming from. MCO? No. I don't know. All right, you go ahead and just take a quick screenshot of this. So it looks like we're all we're all coming at them from like different angles. Let me see if I can. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's toggle. There we go. So let's see where all these other people are coming from. Wow, some are coming from pretty far away. This guy here, uh, Jonas, Jonas, Jonas Dillon. Uh, is he flying a CL-60? I don't know what that is. I'm hoping it's a jet, probably. Then we have some other local flights. So we got about three guys that are coming in from very far away. And then everyone else is kind of hanging out. All right, I'm digging it. Uh-oh. Uh Can I get rid of it? <laughs> I will get rid of it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and then I accidentally clicked on these guys. Okay, now it's now I'm just making a mess of it. <laughs> Private jet? Yeah, probably. <laughs> There we go. Okay, and we're back. I know how to use technology. Oh snap! There's a bunch of there's a bunch of planes around here. Oh, these guys are actually en route. They're and they're doing the uh, they're doing the procedure right now. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> let's get a quick screenshot of that. All right. Okay, do let's let's try and get on with this. <laughs> Uh, let me just check something out here. Sorry, distraction. Okay, so the throttle is closed. We got that propeller set to high RPM. Uh, mixture, full rich cow flaps are open. Let me see if I have it. 
I do have that working, kind of. Yeah. This always this always confuses me. This uh this this label. Okay. Cow flaps are open. Alien trim. Al alien aileron trims are centered. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I don't know if they are centered. Um. There we go. Okay. They, they are. Centered. All right. Alternate air. So let's see. Where is our alternate? This is our alternate air. I don't know how to use our alternate air. Firewall is pushed in. Landing gear is down. Let's see if it's functional. All right, it's functional on the hardware. Uh, all the sub panel switches are off. That's what that is. Primary set to primary. Main breakers are all in, I believe. Yes. Doesn't look like anything's uh, popped out. Let's see here. Nope. All right, cool. Beans. Then we have our static air, which is this thing in the corner here. I don't even know what what is on. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna say that it's fine. Well, that doesn't look like it's working. Did it fit already? Interesting. I don't see I don't see any lights on here. So let's uh, turn on the master battery. Let me see if that had, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay. And let's take a look. Take a look over here and see if there are any failures while we're just sitting, sitting, not doing anything. <laughs> okay, 512. Holy Jiminy crickets. Six. It was five when I, it was five when I opened it up and six just now. Okay. I don't think we can do five. <laughs> I don't think we can do 512. We've had a seal, a seal leak. Our vacuum pump has died. Air conditioned nav lights, cabin lights. So the lights always die in this thing here. Um, crap. I don't think I don't think we can do that. All right, let me take a screenshot because this because that's hilarious. Ah, uh, the vacuum pump. How would I have known that the vacuum pump was down? So the vacuum pump is the instrument air. And, but there is a backup. There's a gyro, there's a standby gyro. Okay, so I would have, I would have known at some point. Uh, the seal leak, the fact that, so I don't know how it, um, how it renders in the, in the sim, but would it, would it, would we black out if, if we had a seal leak? That would be pretty cool. But the detector, oh, okay, no, no, good. Because I, I don't know what it's like for this detector. So let's go ahead and let's fix the detector. Uh, and then I want to see... I want to see what this thing does. <laughs> oh, it's just a light. Okay. So I've never had a seal leak before. So I really don't know what to do with a seal. Uh, let's see. Here. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Okay. All right, so I would have just needed to pay attention and seen that. Okay, alert and status. So there's no sound. There's no sound. So I would just have to constantly be looking and then I would see this yellow light and I'm like, oh, there's this, there's a problem. Okay. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Um, so CO test, we did fix that. We did have a CO leak, so I guess we'll fix that. Let's turn the battery back on. <laughs> Alright, so we can go ahead and fix everything that's here. Can we fix it all at once? Uh, maybe not. Alright, let's just do this. And this is almost getting on my nerves. Okay, so CO works. It's always worked. Now I know what it. Now I know what happens when it doesn't work. Fuel selector. Uh, we're gonna select the fuel. Now we actually did not plan our fuel. Um, uh, boy, this is, there's so much thing here. Where's my weight balance? Here it is. All right, weight and balance. So we've got 50% fuel. Let's go with like 70%. 69 is fine. Relationships 
feels like 20 pounds of, of baggage. All right. Should be okay. <laughs> it's been 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Uh, look, look, buddy. We have a lot of we have a lot of things to go through. Beacon light is on. Let's go ahead and turn on our beacon light. Let's see if it is on. It's not going to be on because the battery. Let's turn on the battery. Cool Dell guy with a resubscription. <gasps> 17 months. That is quite a long time. So you are almost legal. <clears throat> Cool Dell guy, appreciate you. You appreciate your continued support, your continued financial support of this hobby slash business that I'm trying to make it out of, I'm trying to make it into. Thank you, sir. Appreciate. It. How are you doing today? Uh, are you playing any Madden? Are you doing any flying? There's a Vatsim event that's happening today. Get in, get in on it. All right, so let's see if our beacon light is on. Uh, where's our beacon? Okay, it's up there. I can't see if it's on. <laughs> okay, I saw something. It's on. Alright, beacon lights on, guys. Uh, I did some flying this morning. I am too chicken. Oh, for Batsim. <laughs> Batsim, they are, they are intimidating, but, you know, they're fine. They're good people. Okay, so the volts are at 23 minimum, so we have the, the whatever is needed for us to start the plane, start the plane. <laughs> Same. I want you guys to just jump in feet first. They're on, they're they're only human. They're they're not gonna they're, they're, they can't hurt you. They can only yell at you. Uh, we wanna test the enunciators. Let's see here. The enunciators. This. Okay, so things light up, and we are going to need that. We're going to rely on these enunciators. Now that stuff breaks, we're going to need to make sure that we can pay attention. All right. Primary alternator. Let's turn on our alternator. Uh, okay, looks like um, looks like I'm going to have to do some of this stuff manually. All right, standby alternator is on. Fuel quantities checked. There's there's the fuel down there. It That looks about above 50%. Auxiliary pump. Let's uh, set it to low. I do hear it. It is audible. All right, I'm gonna turn it off. Sounds good. Uh, standby, standby pump. All right, so the pump is on. The enunciator um, is on. Instruments in the green are good. So we can turn this off. All right, looking good. All right, the four startup engine is complete. Now let's start this bad boy up. All right, mixture is rich. Everything's rich. Full open, because now we're going to put our auxiliary pump. Let me see if the button works. Uh, no, button doesn't work, so we have to do it manually. All right, and we do have uh, greater than three gallons, or yeah, three gallons per hour, so that's good. Check, 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 auxiliary pump off, throttle in like half an inch. All right, and let's engage with the starter. Let's see here. It's, let me see if it's set to my hardware, which is not okay. I, I have to, I have to reset everything. <laughs> clear prop. All right, let's uh, clear the area here. Yo, mega turn on this airplane. Back up. Clear prop. All right. I think we have warned the people. First try. I love it. Uh, all right, so they want us to get the RPMs to about a thousand to twelve hundred. Where's my RPMs? Not my manifold pressure. <laughs> uh, there's my RPMs. Okay, so we're not at a thousand yet. There we go. All right, we're good there. All right. Um, we don't need to do these after starting. Okay, oil pressure. So, oh man, I do not have custom. All right, while we're, I don't know, while we're in the air, I might need to set some custom views. We'll see. Yeah, because this, this is going to work. 
<laughs> Alright, so here's our stuff here. Uh, this is oil temperature, so green. This is heating up. This is will eventually heat up. Uh, this looks fine. So we're basically just kind of spot checking our instruments right now. So throttle, oil pressure, enunciators are off, low voltage, extinguish. Alternate, excuse me, the altitude load, no, alternator load, uh, but below 25 amps in two minutes. So it is, it is below 25 amps right now. Okay, the volts itself is above, is almost 28, so that's good. Uh, instrument engine check, which is what we did, it seems to be fine. Lights as required, so let's turn on our navigation lights. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that, that button is there. We'll turn on our taxi lights since we're gonna since we're gonna move soon. Let's see. All right, lights is required. Weather, standby radio. That I believe I have it off. Avionics is on, so let's turn on our avionics switch. Avionics are on. Uh, cabin. So it's 90 degrees right now. So let's turn on some of this. Let's turn on some of this. Heat, some of this AC. I know we're in Florida and all. Uh, so we can, I think we can do the blower without doing the AC. So let's see, let's see what that does. 90 degrees, the blower is on. And sometimes that'll, that'll get things cool, but I don't think it will. I've got it on high. All right, I'm going to turn on the AC. <laughs> and this immediate, this immediately turned off. <laughs> So we're now 89 degrees, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, let's, let's put it on though. 89 degrees, I'm assuming that it's going to drop. And this is an enunciator letting me know that the AC door is open. So I'll need to make sure that's closed before I take off. All right, mixture. So because we are on the ground, let's lower our, the amount of fuel that we're dumping into the airplane. Uh, parking brake. And check they want us to check the brakes so let's go ahead and check the brakes we're gonna hold on to the brakes turn off okay that's the left one that's the right one and that's both of them and parking brake back on all right we're good to go there all right what's next so it's the run-up now the run-up where is our wind uh, let's use let's use this bad boy right so we've got the weather. It's still here? Oh. <laughs> uh, we've got the weather. So our current METAR in our in our airport. Actually, no, we have ATIS. Oh, let's not even do that. All right, how would I find ATIS? Can I find it in this plane? No, I think I would need... I would need to know... Yeah, nope, I don't have ATIS. I don't have... Sorry. I'm trying to think, um, I can look at Navigraph, I can look at the uh, V-Pilot. So V-Pilot, uh, let me see here, uh, ATIS is 128125. All right, so let's jump into, let's check over here. So COM1, 128, uh, 125, so that's 1, 2 for me, 128. There's a one zero. Alright. So I'm gonna open up Temperature two flight three. plan go. Two point eight. Altimeter three zero zero seven. Visual approach to runway one eight in use. Landing and departing runway one eight. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. Push and start at pilot so the plan. Read back call runway assignments and all We are at Ocala. Advise on initial contact. You have information hotel. We have information hotel. And let's listen out for this. Hockle International Taylor Airport ATIS Information Hotel 2251 Zulu. Wet 074 at 4. Visibility 10. Sky clear below 12000. Temperature 23. 2.8. Altimeter 3007. Visual approach to runway 18 in use. Landing and departing runway 18. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. Alright, cool. So we've got, uh, so we're at Ocala. Uh, 
I did. I don't know if you saw my last message, but you're going to be on Jack's approach 118.6. Come. I did miss your your last message. Thank you for letting me know that. I will keep that in mind. Have I been missing other messages? <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Doing good. Lots of yard work today. I did miss that part. You did do lots of yard work, and then I and then I caught in when you did some flying. Uh, I live in a townhouse, so I do not have to do any yard work anymore. So I am envious of. <laughs> All right. So we're at Ocala. The wind is one zero seven at four knots. So we're gonna. The reason why I'm looking for that is so we can turn into the wind and to do our checkup. It is 23 degrees Celsius outside, which, which is why we were completely baking in the in the in the plane when we started off. So it's 75 degrees inside there now. Uh, so let's turn off the AC and let's put this blower on high, and let's see how this how this how this in, internal temperature functions. All right, so 107. So what I want to do is let's turn this to let's turn our heading indicator to 107 so that we know where the wind is so here's nine uh that's 10 11 so 107 so this is one no this is 100 so 107 so this is 105 so roughly over there it doesn't have to be right all right let's make sure that we are pointed that we are in sync i think we are because this is uh, i believe this is slave okay so we need to turn the airplane around in order to have the wind run uh, run up against our engine while we're doing our check. Uh, the altimeter is three zero zero seven. So let's go ahead and set that. All right. Uh, so this is three zero zero seven. Ooh, the the as we get in here, it looks really really pixelated. So three zero zero seven. So that's three zero zero. This is three zero zero. So this is three zero. This is 10, so let's subtract 3, 1, 2, 3, and hopefully that's correct. Alright, so we're looking to do, I think we're looking to do our run-up right now. Yeah, we're looking to do our run-up. Let's go ahead and go ahead and see if there's anybody around. I think, I think we're clear, so we'll go ahead and... So sometimes they'll uh, let you do it at the right before you take off, but I think I think I think we can do it now. Uh, there was Jacksonville approach. They beat me. <laughs> I hope I'm not in trouble. Uh, please contact me on one one eight point six. Okay, so Jacksonville approach is asking me to contact them. I haven't even taken off yet. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Uh, you're back on your PC, Andrew. Copy, copy, copy. All right, so um, I'm going to tune into Jacksonville Approach since they want me to contact them. 118.6. So 118. And then 0.6. Oh, you know what? I didn't even I didn't even test. Hold on. So I wasn't monitoring my microphone. Uh, can you guys can you guys hear me? Okay. Have I been Have you been able to hear the audio or my mic audio? All right. Uh, so I'm gonna contact Jacksonville since they asked me to contact them just to see what's going on. Jacksonville approach. Uh, Pilot Club 444 Bonanza. Radio check. 444, Jacksonville Approach, 85 by 5. Okay. All right. Loud and clear. All right. Copy that. Okay. So, um, I've established some sort of communication. Okay. So, let's get back to what we're doing. Um, I've got everything. Runway 18 is going to be our departure runway. So, now let's go ahead and do this run up. And we're going to need, we're going to, need to run. Up. Okay. So, parking brake. Uh, the enunciator. Enunciator. Let's test, test and consider. I'm going to do this. All right. Everything still looks like it's functioning. 
remote compass, slave and align. That's this bad, this bad boy over here. So it is slave. Uh, mixture is full rich. Throttle. We're gonna set our throttle to 1700 RPM. So let me see if I can find that. All right, 1700. Ooh, good to go. All right, uh, exercise propeller drop to 300. So I'm going to drop my prop. So can you guys hear? Oh, can you guys hear the the plane? Over here? I have the I have it set to 50, but this isn't like a very loud plane. So I've just I've just bumped it up to like 70. All right, and we're gonna actually let me bump it up to 80 because we're gonna need to. Zulu, We're gonna need to listen out to the Zulu. Alright, All right, seems to be okay. Alright, I'm gonna check the mags. Uh, let me see here. I'm in the basement so you can hear all of my people. What's up, bud? So I just realized that we're here for and we're playing into Lincoln, right? That is correct. We we did another event in Lakeland, um, with where we had once once we were on approach, I believe, that we had to rock our rings. I I wonder because we did Sun and Fun last year. I wonder if it was the same event. No, it wasn't. It was it was on GA Tuesday. Huh. Okay. All right, so let's see the RPM drop for this. Not very much. Yeah. Mm. Eh, kind of. <laughs> let's go back to both. Get this back up to 1700, then we'll check the other mag. All right. So I think it's acceptable, as long as it's not like it, it, a huge Oh, yeah, drop. I remember. It was the fact that we had to land on the dot. Gotcha. I mean, I I was looking through the old documents, and I think we did a GA Tuesday for number nine four nine on Bravo Zulu. The center maintained two thousand. Two thousand. All right. So I think this is the only thing that I'm gonna do because this is because this is a lot. And usually this run up stuff goes by quicker once I uh, do it on a regular basis. So we will hold on. All right. So let's go ahead and try and get clearance. Um, we have information hotel, we are at Ocala, let me just make sure that we are still at Ocala, like, like I think we are. Alright, this is Ocala, 18 is on our left hand side. Alright, sounds good. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the clearance section of my document. Uh, again, we are at Ocala. I, I actually spelled Ocala wrong on the, on the other one. And we're looking for VFR clearance to Lakeland. We have information hotel. Yeah, okay. So we're going to talk to Jacksonville Approach. Jacksonville Approach Pilot Club 444 Bonanza at Oakland, uh, Ocala with information hotel looking for VFR clearance to Lakeland. Pilot Club 444, you want flight following? Affirmative. Pilot Club 444, Squawk 0720, and runway 18, taxi to the Alpha. Could you repeat the squawk? 0720. 0720, uh, runway 18 via Alpha. Pilot Club 444. Okay, 0720. Let's see here. So we don't have a. 490 Bravo Zulu, the Gainesville Airport's at your 12 o'clock and 1 5 miles report in sight. Where's our transponder? Where's our <laughs> uh, this is. This is autopilot. Uh, 
Oh, that's funny. Where is my transponder? I should have it. It should be default. Do you guys see my transponder? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Um, so these are the radios. This one is a. This is this is our nav that I don't Isn't fully that understand. Isn't that mark? I don't see it. The twelve hundred. Off to your right. Off to my right. Oh, this thing. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Zero, oh my god, zero seven two zero. That it's almost embarrassing. The only problem is I don't care. <laughs> All right, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate the help. I love it. Okay, pressure altitude. So this, I don't think I've ever dealt with this here. So let's hope Report that. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope that uh, this pressure altitude matches up with what I have over here because I, I don't know how to use the, the function. All right, so with the AC off, we did get, we did back up to 83. 49 of Bravo Zulu, the Gainesville Airport's now at your 12 o'clock and seven miles of port in sight. All right, so we're on low. Our port in sight for some reason, my game is not rendering very close at all. 9 of Bravo Zulu, roger, D1 vectors for the RNAV. Vectors for RNAV, we're just vectors for visuals behind us. All right, so we're gonna taxi via Alpha. We're gonna take well, I've been off. Trying to give you vectors for the visual, but uh, it's if you can't see it, then I then you're gonna need clearance, the RNAV. Clearance, 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 departure, departure. Okay, so we're taking runway one eight. Yeah, um, vectors for the RNAV. Not what right. we're gonna do if we rem if I remember our plan is we're gonna Zulu Roger. Turn left heading. We're just gonna hang out at one six six. Turn left heading two seven zero. Vectors are an average my seven. For about sixty four nautical. Two seven zero. Vectors are an average seven. And or 949 or Bravo Zulu, when able, proceed direct Guznu. All right, Guznu we do have a VOR, uh, so let's 2000. so let's use that. Uh, this is Ocala's uh, VOR, which is where is the over here? One tree tree. Nope, that's one one three point seven. So that's Ocala OCF. Alright, I'm going to use that because we're, we're traveling 64 nautical miles, so I just want to be able to use our DME and just at least track that. And that'll, that'll be super helpful. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be. Okay, so we are going 3,500. I'm going to be using autopilot as much as I can so that I can keep track of some of this stuff that's in here and get oriented. Um, so I think we're good there. So let me see, do these things still look green? Yes, okay, so that AC is, that is by default. Hey, uh, did I just hear Mark use the A word? <laughs> Autopilot? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Alright, so we are, <laughs> that's funny. All right, so we have nav one. All right, so let's uh, chime in. So one tree tree point seven. Uh, let's see. Here. Let me see if I can do this. Nav one one tree tree point seven. There we go. Can we actually hear it? Uh, let me see. Let me see if we can hear it. That is nav one. The phone. What's this one? This is speaker. Okay, so I guess speaker doesn't work. So the headphone. So it it did tune into um, it did tune into something. So what I was trying to figure out is if it tuned into the right one because we don't have any tools that are actually confirmed. So we're gonna you have to use old school. Those are three longs. Oh no! Wait. Okay, so we did listen. I don't know if you guys are able to hear it, but I was able to hear it, and it did match this Morse code. So we do have the right one. So we can so we can turn it. 
All right, I think we're ready to go. So now that we are ready to go, 1-8 is what we're taking off from. So let's set our... Also March. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Uh, 184 is the actual heading. What's up, pal? Is it the Comanche that you will have the uh, elevated crash rate? <laughs> yes, it is predominantly the Comanche and sometimes this one. The, these are the two that I really push. Alright, so we are taxiing via Alpha, so we're going to make a left and then we're just going to go to Alpha. And then we should be ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and get set up here. So I don't think we have... So this is not Alpha. But I believe this is. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, I was on like 1700. That would... Where the heck? That doesn't look like Alpha either. Uh, is this airport is this airport haunted? Uh, I'm not on Alpha. This that looks like Bravo would be the next one. So do I need to go in some more? Because that's a whole. You're the only one there. I. Yeah, I know. I just, I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to follow the chart. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, so there goes one eight. So this is, so this is alpha. But oh. nine four nine Bravo Zulu run with seven zero seven zero. Yeah. Okay. So this, that is alpha, but it's labeled Bravo. Seven zero nine Bravo Zulu. All right. So let's let's go to the let's let's make our change. Let's make our adjustment. Please choose a prediction. Uh, hold on. <laughs> All right, here's Alpha. What is the, what is the prediction? Uh, let me see here. Will Mark disobey? <laughs> will I disobey ATC calls? <laughs> That's terrible. Of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do I vote? I don't think I know how to vote. I don't, I don't know how any of this cool stuff works. Um, Akeen. No, Ani. Anio. Aniko. Aniko. Uh oh. Aniko, thank you for the follow as I'm here struggling to do certain things. Appreciate it. Alright, so we're going to hold short, which is exactly what ATC wants us to do. So see, I'm 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 already following instructions. I'm pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna hold up. We're gonna hold the parking uh, brake. Let's get this RPM back to a thousand. Okay, so uh, let me see here. We're taking off uh, the, this one. We're gonna make the adjustments for something or another. Okay, so we're gonna manually do it until I can figure out what's going on. Let me see here. So we're gonna turn off our AC. Uh, we're going to turn on our strobe lights, turn on ta uh, landing, and turn off our taxi lights. There we go. All right. Uh, Jackson, Jackson, Jacksonville approach. Um, Pilot Club 444, holding short, runway 18. Pilot Club 444, wind 070 at 4, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 18, Pilot Club 444. Hey, look at that. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, guys. So inside is 68 degrees. Uh, let's put down one of our flaps. There we go. All right. Even though he cleared us, we should still always just take a look. Just in case he doesn't see something on the radar. All right. And then let's push it. So we are headed at 180 right now, and we're going to need to make a, we're going to need to adjust to the left a little bit to do the 166. All right, now we're rolling. Yeah. 
chiesa Alpha 444 Jacksonville departure radar contact uh, the altitude uh, currently at 600, climbing to 3,500. Pilot Club 444, Roger, resume on navigation. Resuming on navigation, Pilot Club 444. Alright, so I tried to give you guys a picture of uh, me taking off, and that, that just threw me off. <laughs> so we're not doing that again. All right, so resume own navigation. Uh, so I'm going to put flaps up. We're going to do the landing lights are off. Let's try and keep this bird. Let's try and keep this birdie in the in the air. All right, so there goes a highway looking like there goes a highway. I don't I don't remember how long we had that highway. Uh, it looks like it's gonna get dark, so let's go ahead and turn on these panel lights. Alright, we're at 2,000 feet. Uh, let's go ahead and set this to 166. So let's go ahead and set that at 166. Let me see if my Hardware autopilot works. Uh, it is let's say AP. I'm sending it to heading mode, and I've got it on altitude. Actually, that's the wrong altitude. <laughs> Bravo 949, Bravo Zulu, exit left and taxi to the ramp via Bravo Alpha. All right, let's put it back to 3,500. Let's do vertical. We're gonna do 500 feet per minute. So we're armed, we're headed up to, we are steady at 500 feet per minute. And all right, so now, because I've been in the air, I didn't even realize that. I should have taken my RPMs off. And I should have had my mixture at full, but I did not. I had it still leaned, which was not cool, guys. Don't do that. Uh, how long do you how long do I have before the event is over? Um good question. So the event starts at, at six o'clock, which is like an hour and a half. They usually run for about like two somewhere somewhere between two to four hours. I think you still got time. Oh, I didn't have my weather machine. Go ahead and test that for 65 degrees. Uh, the outside air temperature right now is <laughs> hard to see, but it's above 10 degrees Celsius. <laughs> okay, so the weather device seems to work, so let's, keep, let's put it on. Okay, let's take a look at our stuff. Um, fuel flow, right. So we are above 3,000 feet and we are burning more fuel than I'd like, so let's lean a little bit more. So we sh could use this if I knew how to use it right. But I'm still a big fan of my EGT monitor. Yeah, so I'm gonna use my EGT. So here's my EGT right here. So it's gonna, as I'm starving the engine of fuel, it's gonna, the engine is gonna get hot. And then uh, the needle's gonna go up, and then as soon as it goes back down, then I've, th then I've leaned it to the max. Now I'm curious always curious so this is going down okay so it's going to hang us we're going to hang at a 3,000 pounds all right so let's go ahead and take a look at our ETT okay so 310 Jacksonville departure cleared to the Tampa airport rate of vector the Oklahoma then is filed maintain 4,000 all right cool. frequency with me and squawk 651 so I think I like what we're doing um, so I have the EGT leaned, where fuel flow is just under 10 uh, gallons per hour, so I think that's good. I am, I am satisfied with that. Uh, let me see here. I'm just northwest of the pan. <laughs> you got this, buddy. However, yes, I do depart, <laughs> I do depart pretty late. Um, I 
did a did a full kind of a, I, I did a run up and I'm just making sure that that the plane is functional all right battle royale is Last starting calling a safe position over uh, over St. Simon's Island at uh, 3,700 all right so I think we're doing I think we're doing okay 61 degrees inside of the airplane so that's actually a little too cold let's let's uh, open up our cabin heat a little bit there and we have learned that when this is yellow, that's when we have issues. All right, so let's take a look at these. Those seem to be fine. Uh, these seem to be fine. Everything seems to be fine at the moment. Now, here is our bus vote. Now, what we we'll, what we've learned in previous flights is that when we we can test out if our lights are working based on the bus vote. So there should be some amperage, there should be some activity, there should be some activity with the, with one of these. I, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's alternator load or the, I think it's alternator load. But if we turn on our lights and nothing happens, that means that our, our lights, not, our light is not working. It's not taking up any, any battery. Okay. So we're at we're 166. Oh right. Um, so here we are 16 nautical miles away Special from the VOR. Approach, Walker 3010, uh, the wish this was the, uh, handled kind of like sim venture. Walker 310, Roger, run wet. I have not done. Wait, sim venture? Is that is that Pilot Edge's version? Or is that Vat Sim's version? Uh, both higher load while draining. There we go. Red Baron. Red Baron seems to know. He seems to know this stuff. <laughs> All right. So there is a mist. I did not anticipate a mist, but that's because I did not uh, really do a good job on checking out my weather, on briefing myself on the weather conditions. So it's still 68 degrees on the inside of here. So let's open up that cabin cabin heat just a little bit more all right we are 20 nautical miles out yeah that's a few hours for a few days I don't think I got that last statement last a few hours for a few days the uh, oh wait higher load while draining force Okay, the only reason the only reason I'm talking about volts right now is because in this plane, because the failure rate is set so high, usually the lights are the first thing that goes. So here we have our attack our landing lights. So let's see if anything happens. You know what? I should probably just do this. <laughs> good evening, Jacksonville approach. All right. So, all right, good. So we do have our alt load, and we saw some activity. So our landing lights still work. Taxi lights still work. So let's see if nav beacons. So there's all activity. Okay, good. So all of those right now have activity, and that's a good thing. Uh oh. My game froze. There. All right, so I did not do the greatest job of prepping myself. I was I was too I was just too busy working on this. I think that's I mean that's my excuse. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to make sure that I'm at 1,200 feet and I'm doing 100 knots. Indicated. Yeah, I should I should be able to do a hundred knots without stopping. Uh, one of the guys said something in Slack. Let me see. What was that, fella? Hey, Mark. Yeah, put it down on the on the orange stop and put it down a little hard, so I bounced a little bit. But I'm good. <laughs> All right, Ron. Glad you made it safe. You um you. You gave somebody some some content for their TikTok. Yeah, agree. <laughs> All right, man, we'll see you. All right, boss. Thanks for flying with us. Pilot Club 444, contact Tampa approach. 
118.15, Power Club 444, thanks for the service. Alright, so I was trying to switch my my windows, or my, my sharing screen, put the guys in Slack. Alright, so now let's go ahead and switch up the radio, so 118.5, uh, 118.5, there we go. And who was that? Uh, one 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 eight point five. I'm looking at the uh, the controllers list. Ten, I think I believe it's Tampa approach, but it's one it's one one eight one five. I wrote oh no no actually I did write down one five and then I did something else. <laughs> All right one five. <laughs> One eight one five. I'm glad I wrote it down. Tampa approach. Pilot Club four forty four Bonanza with you at three thousand five hundred. Pilot Club four forty four Tampa approach. Uh, if you're VFR into Lakeland, I'm not uh, controlling any v any uh, VFR arrivals into there. Your radar services are terminated. Change to advise. You're approved. Advise you monitor the ATIS and Lake Parker arrival. All right, we'll. Will monitor Pilot Club 444. All right, so it looks like um, okay. So it looks like you know what? Let me let me slow number, things. Number one four Gulf Juliet makes straight in for runway one zero right to set right. maintain three thousand. Straight in one zero right to set maintain three thousand for Gulf Juliet. So let's do cruise. Let's figure some things out here. All right, so uh, two, four, five, four, we're gonna have to figure out some things. Two four five four echo Roger. Uh, you're clear to Lakeland. Maintain I'll try to, to, to be fast about this. Flying. Ooh, the the R the the R N F the R V four. I like it. Correct. Uh, monitor Unicom twenty two eight and uh, monitor the arrival latest as you get closer to Lakeland. All right. So as we get twenty two eight. Is that their CTA? Twenty-two eight is Unicom. Okay, here. So Lakeland's control tower is one two four five. As we're getting to here, what? Zero one nine or two seven Zulu is radar contact altitude. Uh, leaving one thousand. One two three seven, 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 seven. So it looks two like they're Zulu, not. Thanks. Looks like they're not following two any two of this stuff. Here. And, uh, Let me see what's going on with their frequencies. So it looks like we're we're main, we're doing one one two two point eight. Where are the frequencies? Well, that's weird. Whenever I need the frequency, it's not here. Uh, but I did put it in here. <laughs> okay, so Lakeland uh, Adis. Is there a is there a Lakeland Adis? I'm looking at the list, 12857. I don't see a 12857. Okay. Uh, they have a notum up on the event page. Oh, gotcha. Uh, still got to get around the panhandle. Okay. Um, so where is their... I, didn't even, I don't even think I linked to it. They linked to it here. So we should be... Thank you. Uh, let me see here. Here's the notum. It's a Google Doc. You know what? I didn't even read their. <laughs> I didn't even read their rules. I just went with the real world. Air one under two seven Zulu, proceed direct to Lagu. Uh -oh. Proceed direct Lagu, two seven Zulu. So I do know that five and twenty three is closed. We'll expect I have one left, two seven Zulu. Thanks. Uh, low wings, which is what this is. Number 41 Gulf Juliet, uh, my apologies, I forgot to send the note to you. Do you still need it? No, we got it. Number 41 Gulf Juliet, Roger, uh, I'm going to send you over to tower shortly. Sounds good. All right, so Make I'm going to no gonna monitor 122.8 for right now. 
All right, um, we're at 37 miles away from the place. So we still about halfway there before we start to trying to figure out what is our next thing. Uh, but let's go ahead and just take a quick check at our, at our engine. Make sure that everything is optimal. Um, oh, okay, look, this voltmeter. Uh, it just popped off, so the voltmeter seems to not be functioning. Those seem to be okay, so let's see here. Uh, wait, what is the what is the voltmeter? <laughs> so turn coordinator, voltmeter, so that would be that, and then it's going to pop out again, so the voltmeter is damaged. I would assume that the voltmeter is what we're using to measure. Yes, yeah, so that popped out again. I'm going to assume that it is the bus volt or the or the alt load, but they seem functional. The the, uh, the alt load seems to be functioning. So, what is the voltmeter? What does that mean? And we're out of range for that other place. Oh, did not, I did not consider that. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's jump into Lakeland. So it looks like we're too far to use this. Okay, so I mean, we should have plenty of other VORs available to us. So here goes Orlando's VOR. Let's check out Orlando's. Uh, where's Orlando? Orlando, this one, 112.2. One, 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 two two. So 112.2. One, 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 two two. Okay. So we have their VOR. So let's see where we are in their space. So we are looking to from the center of the VOR out. So we want out. So there are a bunch of there's a bunch of activity down here. And there looks like some lakes. So I, what really what this means is that I should be looking more outside than inside. All right, we want to be away from. Uh, I should have gotten something. Unless I, yeah, okay. Nope, that's actually two. This is two. I need to <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we are on there. Two. We'll say we're close to the two five radio. So here on Orlando's side, we're on the two five radio, which is here's a two four, here's a two five. So we're somewhere over here. So we're somewhere in this vicinity over here, just outside of 30, 30 nautical miles from, from that. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. So let's get to our intended altitude, which is uh, 1,200. Let's do some of that. All right, we're going to put this in VS, uh, VS. Let's put this in VS mode. And then we're going to drop this down to 500, 500 feet per minute. I'm going to push back on that. I'm going to pull back on that manifold pressure a little bit there so that we're not over speeding. All right, so I'm going to need to take a guess as to where we are. Where did I say we were? So here, 250 over here. So let's just say roughly 14, let's just 10 nautical miles. Lakeland traffic, pilot club, 444 Bonanza. Uh, at 3,000 feet, descending to 1,200, about uh, 10 miles north of the IAF. 
Fantasy of Flight. Fantas Fantasy of Flight. Ten miles north of the Fantasy of Flight. Um, Lakeland Trap. Okay, so let me see which frequency I'm supposed to be on when it comes to this. Before joining the transition, uh, and this is this is the problem here is I am skimming instead of reading. Departing frequencies arrival. Okay, so Lake Parker arrival one two four point five. Hey gang, are you guys using the arrival frequency 124.5? Talk to the guys in Discord. Tampa approach. No, I think I'm using the 135.225. That's what it says, right? Okay, you're using tower. I'm I'm not close to tower yet. So will there be a time to use the 124.5 anytime? Um, so usually the arrival, usually you would uh, tap into arrival before you get the tower. I think the tower is probably like 10 or 20 miles from the airport. Have you been, have you been talking to somebody on no, that no, frequency? In fact, in fact, no, <laughs> I'm just preparing to begin, but I'm not too far away. It's like 40 miles away. Okay, gotcha. So yes. Talk to the one two four point five before I get to the tower, or um, maybe. Um, so I'm going to switch over to that right now because I was with Tampa Approach, and then they told me to go to Unicom. I, I see a whole lot of activity on the one three five point two to five. Gotcha. Well, um, I'll let you know. I, I, I'm going to hit up the the Parker arrival and see what they see what they do. Okay. Thank you. If you want to be healthy, this is a starter. Drink more water. Drink more water. I haven't taken. I I didn't take a break yet. No, oh, it's. I thought it was Andrew. It's a. Uh, Aniko. <laughs> hey, Aniko. Sorry, I do not have. Uh, here. Um, I left my uh, my bottle of water. <gasps> There's a, there is a lot of activity though. Look at all of that. All right, um, so I'm doing 120 knots. Let me try and let, let me try and break it down. Let me try and slow it down. Uh, okay, so let me see here. One two four point five. Let's try and switch over to that. One two four point five, and let's see what's going on there. Okay, what color? We're uh, blue. As much as you're blue, I got some blue news for you. I got to spin you around, have you do it all over again, you're going to get swampled by someone right behind you. Got to turn off to the right now. Thank you. All right, because I'm below 3,000 feet, I'm going to put my mixture all the way up. I'm hanging out at 1,200 feet. Just announced you be right back. After these messages, you'll be right back. You're on autopilot. I am. It's only because. I got a silver and black plane at 22. What so, are you? So autopilot's not a terrible thing. Uh, it's it's good. the child of the magenta. That's that's the thing that we're trying to get pilots away from. Is Thank following you. that magenta line. So right now, autopilot is helping me out a lot. Three ten Rocky wings. So let's turn on this AC. Actually, let's. Close this up. Apparently, I'm good hot rock, now. Good rock, 310. Good rock. Follow guy at 1200 below. You start at decent at 1200. Join I-4 westbound. Tower 3522. Okay, now the question is, where is this lake? I'm at 1200, and I don't know where the lake is. This is where a GPS would come into place, but I, I went ahead. I went ahead and made things difficult. If you're just joining us now, no overrunners on side by side, half mile in trail. If you're at 1200, you're doing, if you're at 1200 feet, you're doing 100 knots. If you're at 1700 feet, you're doing 150 knots. If you're at 20, you're at 2200 knots, doing appropriate speeds. Please don't run into each other. If a guy 
I break you off, you're gonna have to start up all over again in the north. Is there an MD-80 around here? A firm. What are you trying to do? Land. Can you do 150 knots? Doing 150 right now. Son of a gun. Alright, red and white Cessna right over the lake, Rocky Wings. So this is interesting. I am lost. <laughs> but I think I, I think I say that in every stream. Okay, so should be the high. That should be the highway. This should be uh, Interstate uh, Four. All right, this is gonna sound crazy. 150 knots, pretty decent. 1,200 feet now. Okay, uh, 150 in the descent, uh, starts now. All right, so I need to. Approach Pilot Club 444 Bonanza, uh, getting close to the airport. Is this the frequency that I should be on? 3522, 3522. 3522. All right. Looks like it's 135.22. Thank you, Mike. I got a 172 approaching the lake at 1300. Person power point now, Rocky Wings. So, what is 35.2? Lakeland Tower. Lakeland Tower, uh, Pilot Club 444 Bonanza, uh, looking for VFR entry into Lakeland. Don't call me, I'll call you. Fly the VFR procedure, you don't have to call me to come in, just fly the notum. Don't call me, I'll call you. Alright, copy that. Alright, so uh, 135 is, is telling us not to call him, just fly the... Just by the procedure. Uh, helicopter on one to the right, clear for takeoff, right turn out, right turn All right, out for the so I am right. taking off autopilot. Uh, contact departure, don't read it back today. I believe this, I believe this is the lake. Cross one to the right, ground on the other side, welcome to the show. The flight of three, turn your downwind, turn your downwind, flight of three, turn your downwind, flight of three. Out of three, there you go. Keep it nice and easy, nice and easy. You're coming for one zero left. You're going for the short run. Start your base beam the numbers. Base beam the numbers. Base, 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 okay, base, so base. what I'm doing right now is I took it off an autopilot and I'm going to try and figure out how to manage. So 13522 is who we're supposed to be listening to. And I guess they will see us. So this looks like the lake. I'm, I'm going to assume that this is the lake. If you're on the right side, you're on the wrong runway. If you're on the right side, you're on the wrong runway. Who just busted the tower? The tw twin that just busted the tower. Go back to the lake, start over. You didn't follow the proceed. You didn't give me direction. My guy, fly the notum. It's published that you have to fly the procedure. Not me, it's you. The flight of three on one zero left. Keep it rolling all the way to the end. All the way to the What's that? end. What's the ATC yelling at you? Uh, highway north he's, west of the airport. He's not south yelling at me. Base he's turn, he's turn, base yelling base at someone turn, else. Twin south of the airport. Go oh, back to the lake. Back to lake park and start over. All right, so I'm going to try highway and use my trim wheel. Turn your base, base to final. There you go. Green dot, green dot. North, northwest of the airport. You're going for the green dot. So I need to fly the Notum, which I have not been. Yeah. So just keep on. So I'm. So I'm looking for the highway. Highway Northwest the Airport. You're going for the green dot. Green dot. There you go. Keep it coming. Nice and fly to three. Welcome to the show. Continue to the end. Go southbound and monitor ground. Welcome to the show. All right. So what's happening here is I am a little lost, but I'm going to follow these other airplanes. So I believe this is the lake. I don't have time. I, you know, this is where this is where prep time really comes into place, and I did not prep. I created a flight plan, which was kind of just putting things together, but I did not sit and actually visualize the flight. So right now, what I'm doing is trying to manage my airspeed of, at 100 knots, and I'm also trying to keep the altitude. 
So I'm using my trim wheel because pulling back and forth on the yoke. You know, I can always be ATC for you until you get to the tower. Landing, all the way to the Thank end, you, Andrew, the to but end, and, uh, we're gonna right. try and do this. Thing. So right now we are headed west. I'm visualizing it. That's right right now. And uh, approach has, where you want me to uh, has made a uh, good pattern uh, in. Angry puppy, we're all the like way you're in, you're all next the way to uh, right. five four one with the Sierra. You can't see him. But um, it's it's more like an S. Land like a warm one to right, you're clear for takeoff. Right turn out. Land there one to right, you're clear for takeoff. Don't read it back. There goes a guy. There goes a guy right there. That's not one there left. Keep it rolling all the way to the end. You're following the angry puppy up the run. So I'm gonna assume that this is the highway, uh, the 140 highway that I'm looking for, and I'm just trying. To, right now, I'm just trying to maintain. So I'm trying to maintain that speed and the altitude. of the airport you're busting the tower go back to the lake the guy who's busting the tower right now north of the airport oh you're actually a being the airport go back to the lake lake back to lake parker and start over you made the turn all right i'm gonna put on my landing lights Lantern on one oh. zero right we just departed nope, nope, right I've turn got, out right i've turn got out. i've got other lights okay so i think i'm stable uh, still not, still not easy to see the highway. There, there it is. So we're just gonna hang out by the highway. Without audio, one two four is calling me. Um. One time to just made the procedure going back to the lake. You can monitor uh, Lake Parker on 245. Monitor them, go back to the lake and start over. If you're just tuning into the frequency, welcome on into the sun and fun. Remember, no side by side, only front and back. You're going to turn downwind on the east west road, no, north of the airport. You're going to turn base. It was a, I think the tower just said monitor 24.5. Now why would he say that if you are on the other frequency? Not sure. The guy, the guy on 35.22 seems to be seeing everyone, but he's not, he didn't say anything to me yet. Lakeland Tower, uh, November 1, 16, Papa, just coming up on a 1-0. Don't call me, I'll call you, I'm busy. Yeah, it seems like she's not seeing you already until last on minute. the left side, turn that final, turn the final, turn the final, there you go. Because I'm listening to Mark, I'm listening to Mark Train. The airport. Start that um, the green dot. He is getting mad at nearly every the pilot. The twin northwest of the airport, you're hella far, keep that turn coming in, turn that base, turn base, the beach craft. Beach craft, that's a Bonanza. Bonanza Northwest of the airport. Start that base turn. Start the base turn, Bonanza. Start the base turn. Head towards the airport. Otherwise, I gotta send you back and you gotta start over. There you go. I see you turning now. Thank you very much. All right. Best on the down one. Turn your base. Base, 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 base. Base and green dot. Oh, the Cirrus. You going around. Go around, Cirrus. Go around. You landed on the wrong runway. Go around. Back in the air. Back in the air. You landed on the wrong runway. Keep it going. There you go. Back in the air and go back to the leg. All right. Uh, Landing gears back. down. Landing One lights. Left One zero left on the green, the, on the orange. Cessna, you're landing orange dot now. Orange dot now, Cessna. Keep it rolling on one zero left. High wing, go to the orange dot. Bananas on one zero right. One zero right, line up and wait. Don't reply. Second Bonanza on one right. Line up and wait behind the Bonanza in front. Line up and wait, both of you, right now. Otherwise, you gotta send somebody around and you're not gonna like uh, Bonanza Is West he, Airport. Amar, do you think he's getting mad at these pilots? Start slowing down. There you go. One zero. Actually, uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. The Cessna. Cessna on one left. Roll all the way to the end. All the way to the end. Uh, Beachcraft Flight of Two. Runway one zero right. Clear for takeoff. Don't read it back. One zero right. Clear for takeoff. Don't read it back. 
Bonanza on final, one zero left, one zero right, you're clear to land, you're clear to land, one zero right. So I think he's uh, instructing me one zero Piper. right to land. So he's um he's got a lot Piper going on. North of the airport, go back to the leg. Yeah, but he sounds Piper annoying. Of the airport, go back to the leg. You missed the first. Well, you know, be able to fit you in. he's only number human. two six five, number two six alpha. Yeah, Target base. Target base. Target base. Target base. Target base. I don't think it's I think it's whatever he is assigning you we'll see what the prediction said he does seem to be turning around, turning away a lot of people. Piper, Piper, two Bravo Bravo, back to the lake. Take a left turn, left turn southbound, and join back to the lake. You're not going to be able to hit the procedure from there. You know, my right, 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 roll all the way to the okay. end and into the grass. Monitor ground, welcome to the show. Stand down one to your left, cross one to your right. The guy's not going to go in front of you. Cross one to your right, monitor ground, welcome to the show. All right, I'm looking RB for. Channel one zero right, one zero right. Line up and wait. Be ready to go. Don't read it back. Two six alpha hotel rule. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. I need that speed. I have aircraft behind you. Come on, keep it rolling. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> Bonanza on one zero right. Into the grass. I gotta launch somebody behind you. Come on, into the grass and monitor ground. They'll give you a parking spot. There we go. Thank you very much. One three Bravo Echo runway one. Right. So he's right. kind of having fun with it. Uh, it, it it does sound a little um, short. Forced. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a little forced. <laughs> right, right. All right. So I, I did land, and uh, I I couldn't find the the taxiway. So he told me to just turn off in the grass and contact ground. <laughs> All the all the way to the end, Steve. What's up, Steve? -o? I don't know what to right, consider right, that. Right, turn out. Right, turn we'll turn we'll out. see right, what happens with the uh, attack. Oh. All right, so, so I, I might have to flip a coin to decide if it if it's you. a yes or a no. I'm Just because of how much of traffic three. there is. You guys are spicy. The flight of three, you're clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, straight out, flight of three. Flight okay. of three, straight out, clear so for takeoff. So the ground is one, two, one, four. Highway north of the airport, turn your downwind, turn your... Downwind. How much, Highway my guy? Airport, Wait, not, not much, my guy. Oh, yeah. You're going the wrong way. I'm doing okay. You're going the wrong way. We're landing I'm, in, the I'm enjoying this guy. He, he is having to deal with a lot. Let's, so uh, let, let's actually take a look the at... Way. There you go. You uh, got it. No. Can keep we see the lantern? Keep that turn coming. There you go. The other side. East-West Road. Follow that East-West Road. You're going for one zero left. The mm, orange side. I don't think we're seeing everybody on your. the lantern. One to three. Right turn out. Right turn out. I don't know if there's a lot. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I don't see anything. All right, whatever. It looks like he has at least 11 pilots landing. Where are you seeing this from? I'm looking at Vats by with the arrows, and it looks like 11 pilots landing. That's not northwest of the airport. Turn your base. Oh, and more taking off. Base, base, Come on, give me the base turn. Give me the base turn. Give me the oh, base turn. I don't know why I don't. Base, 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 base. I don't base, think base, I see a lot. Left. There you go. Base to final. Right. Keep it nice Whatever. and tight. Either way, nice uh, let's, let's see if ground can take us in. Uh, ground, 121.4. 121.4. 44, you want to see? All right, I believe I am at... Uh, Papa, close to uh, Papa and Foxtrot. This is Lakeland. Lakeland ground, Pilot Club 444, Bonanza, on the ground, I think at Papa and Foxtrot, looking for parking. Pilot Club 444 is looking for you. Taxi to, uh, see, taxi via Foxtrot Delta, right into the grass, welcome to the show. Foxtrot Delta right into the grass. Thank you very much. All right, so let's take a look at Navigraph. Navigraph. All right, so he says Foxtrot and Delta right into the grass. So here we're at Papa and Foxtrot. We're going to take Foxtrot, then we're going to take it to Delta, 
Now, GA parking is over here. So we're going to have... Oh, you know what? Five is closed. This runway is closed. That's why I, 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 that's why I think he didn't mention anything about it. But we're going to take it all the way and then... And ground number 541 with you, Sierra. Are we good across uh, runway five on Bravo? 541 Whiskey, Bravo, runway's closed. Continue taxi via Bravo, I believe. Here, head over the Bravo 1. Yeah, okay. Alright, continue via Bravo 1, uh, 1 Whiskey, Sierra. Alright, so are you guys still on approach? Uh, sorry, dude, why is it nighttime? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Mike? <laughs> what's up, Mike? Uh, you should daytime VFR for this event, and why did you make an inbound call when Notum said not to? Womp, womp, womp. What's up, Rob Valkyrie? <laughs> Notum, Notum, Notum. Look here, guys. I did not prepare. Whoops. Now I'm just busting up my microphone. Um, yeah, I don't know, because it's nighttime. So, I have not been to one of these events in real life. I'm assuming that they always want you to fly in in, in the daytime. <laughs> And actually, I'm going to have a tough time seeing, so let's go ahead and switch that back a little bit. There we go. Does that does that satisfy you guys? Keep a roll on the VK runway. One's your right cross and one's your left. Right turn, Delta. All right. Um, to the grass. Welcome to the show. Welcome aboard, guys. I'm glad you're here to watch and judge. So we're on Papa right now, and then we're going to Foxtrot. So what's interesting is that this is the scenery that I worked on, so I'm very familiar with these taxiways. I built them from hand. <laughs> hey, Mark. What? What's up, bud? How long are you, how long is the going to last for? Um, I don't know. Not not very long. Uh, I got a, I got a, I got a uh, rate to catch. You have a raid suggestion? Yeah, it's for somebody streaming uh, Flight Sim, who is also doing Summon Fox. Oh, look at that. Well, who who might this person be? Pilot Deviation. Without the E and uh, Deviation. Okay. I like he that. Is, he is currently controlling Summon Fox. Summon Fox. Ooh, is that our spicy friend? I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, Pilot Code 444, I believe I'm on uh, uh, Taxiway Delta, headed uh, headed to parking. Uh, I was just talking about that uh, Cessna that's uh, off tier. Oh, gotcha. I saw him. Thank you very much. Just trying to keep it safe out here. Appreciate it. So apparently there is a rogue... Uh, <laughs> there's a rogue... There's a rogue plane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is. All right. So this ta this runway is closed, so I don't need clearance. I can just cross it. It's a, it's a controller. It's a controller you pad on top. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> so, uh, Mike and Rob, did you guys uh, do the event? Did you guys fly into Lakeland? And it looks like we can just park anywhere that we want. Alright, so this will take us to... We're on Delta. This will take us to Sierra. And then we can just figure out a parking spot there. I got some music playing. It's actually, with all of these planes here, my frame rates are dropping pretty, pretty, pretty badly. So I think I might want to take out some of these planes.
Yes, all right. I'm assuming that you did excellent flight planning and uh, you had no issues fumbling with frequencies like I did. And or trying to find the lake at nighttime. <laughs> all right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna park this bad boy here. Um, should I put my, yeah, parking brakes are on, so we're good there. I'm gonna turn off the landing lights. I'm gonna turn off, I should have turned off the strobe. So nav and beacons are still on. And let me just go ahead and pause the head tracker so you guys don't get seasick. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can, uh, do I need to do all of that? Uh, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and shut some things down. We're gonna starve the engine of fuel. We're gonna open this band way up. And nav and beacon, and then we're gonna turn off the master avionics, but not until we see what kind of failures. Okay, so let's see, let's see what's going on. First, let's see what kind of in, in damage we've done to our engine. It's at 98%, so that's actually not bad at all. So I think we I think we handled it pretty well, even though our global failure rate is set to 512. Let's see what the active failures are. <gasps> Only three! That is very surprising. We had a whole bunch of failures right when we started. Right, no, before we even started the um, the plane, we had six failures. Okay, voltmeter. I'm gonna need to look into that because I don't know what that is. And our pedo heat. So we didn't. So we didn't need any of it. All right. So we were fine. We were not in any danger whatsoever. <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, all right, master. Uh, the avionics can go off. Uh, let me see here, and then we can do the. Uh, the alternator and that AC. Oh, I had the AC. On. All right, everything else seems to be off. And then we can turn off the, the fuel. All right, fuel is off as well. And we still can't turn this on, but we can step out, kind of. Okay, this is actually good to know. So, when I was working on it locally, uh, it did not stutter like this, but it's definitely stuttering now. So I'm gonna need, to, I'm definitely gonna need to remove some some assets now that it uh, seems to. It's, I guess it's rendering more now that there's other planes with that. Okay, no. Um, all right. So Andrew, who was? Can you copy and paste uh, that guy, or who? How do I find? How do I find this suggested? person would love to check him out Oop, Andrew you still there Oop. all right I think Andrew stepped away oh we're uh, let's take a look at the um, twitch because I would, I, I would like to send you guys there. So let's, um, here's the browser. Let's see. So I'm not following him. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mike's playing X-Plane right now. trying to get to Microsoft hey, Flight Simulator. We're all gonna be, uh... <laughs> okay, so the guy that we're looking for is uh, Redmaster Pilot Deviation. That's who it is. Lands air, turn your base, 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 base. Yeah, but that is the guy. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and raid Pilot Deviation. Thank you, Andrew, for the suggestion. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a follow. Uh, I'm Tabletop Android, your friendly neighborhood aviation enthusiast. I'm glad that you guys were here. Uh, give Pilot Deviation some love. Um, I don't even know if he's going to see you because he's so busy. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I think that's it. So normally I stream on Tuesdays. This was a special event. So I'll be uh, streaming on, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. You enjoy your weekend. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go see my family. Um, Andrew, thank you for moderating. Uh, and, Anacol, Cool Dell Guy, The Maverick, 
Mike. Nope, the Maverick Mike. Thank you very much for your participation, uh, following, and continuing to support this channel. Thank you very much. All right. Mike, see you later. Tabletop Android, rate of sits. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. He's on it. <laughs> Sirius Northwest of the airport. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Lance 010 right. Roll all the way to the end. All the way.